So tired, bro. Last night we I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's just a massive carp sitting right there. Like this water's like hella blue too. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is eh, day two of the old Florida series right here. Yappy, come look at this uh, carp in the water. If you had a bow, easy video right here. But in today's video, we are gonna do some more iguana hunting with our good buddy Harold over at Iguana Lifestyles, as well as Mr. Yappy over there. We are going actually with Harold to one of his contracted places that he's allowed to hunt uh, to take care of these invasive iguanas. And our thoughts was, let's go after a couple big ones today and see if we can do a catch clean cook. I know you guys like the catch clean cook videos and I thought it'd be a cool video to eat one of these iguanas on camera for you guys to show you guys that they are edible and I guess they can be pretty good too. So plan is right now we're going to get all situated, get the guns loaded, to get some camera stuff ready and then we're going to walk around this property, see if we can shoot some iguanas and then by the end of this video we're going to be eating some of that in our mouth. My man Harold, how are we doing today? About to start a war zone over here. Yeah, let's see what we, what are we working with here. Sheesh. The Gamel Arrow. It's a man's gun. <laughs> New Gamel Viper. The Tonight, Viper. It's coming out this month. I don't know exactly what date. Super light. Yeah. Another one. This next gun is what I'm the most excited about. So this is what you're going to be using. This Sheesh. is an ATN HP Standard. A custom edition with the ATN LTV. Uh, 50, what is it? 5X, 15X with the Donnie Suppressor Ronin. And this is just a beautiful thing. Um, it's gonna record all your shots. So we'll see exactly what you're doing. If you guys watched the last video, you guys know that I pretty much biffed every shot and Yappy outshowed me. So Yappy was nice enough to give me these shooting sticks. So I'm gonna set this bad boy up, put the gun in like that, and hopefully not miss today. But the gun that Yappy and I are using today is, okay, Carol just keeps pulling guns out. Like, it's like it's nothing, like gun, gun, gun. Like this man is crazy. This is my personal favorite, the Gamo Magnum. That's what we used yesterday, right? No, yeah. Bone oh. Collector. Oh, we used the Bone Collector. So this one has a little bit more punch to it. Ah, so You'll hear the smack down on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the gun that we're using does have the capabilities of recording. So that's going to be huge clutch today. Hopefully we can get some cool like footage of scope cam stuff. We have to fill up the guns right now with uh, like air. And look at this air compressor that Harold has. What's it called? The, the little what? Little foot. The little foot. Little foot. Look at that. You just plug it into your car battery. Battery to go, has a built-in fan, yeah. has a gauge. It also has a 12 volt. If I need to go with someone in the wall, I don't just need my car, but it's very efficient when I'm driving around. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna fill these guns up with there. Then Yappy and I are gonna start walking, see if we can shoot some stuff. You guys stay tuned. I'm kind of nervous about this video. I don't know how these are gonna taste. Well, we have began our walk for iguanas and this spot, this is like a, like a neighborhood that hired Harold to come in and basically take out iguanas all in their neighborhood. So as you can see, we're just walking through people's backyards. We have the freeway right there. A lot of crazy stuff. The canal is just right here. I'm looking at it. Um, let me show you. So we got interstate right there, canal right there, and then backyards right here. Pretty crazy place to be hunting, but nonetheless, very cool. I see him. Oh my god. Get him. Make sure it's recording, eh? Is it recording? Yeah. I don't know. That was cool. Alright, we got our first iguana of the day. He started swimming in the water. We got him. He's down. Not sure how we're going to be able to retrieve him, but. On to the next one. We got to get John on one. Yeah, it is. Is that one? Right yeah, it there. is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Big one. Can't be moving too much. Yeah. 
Oh, got him? I don't know. I put it right on his eye. I think you got it. I thought I did too. I don't know. Well, that was my first shot at one. That was really cool footage. Hopefully, you guys can see the justice, but I don't know if I'm I got him or look not. Right here. I'm going to look right here. Yeah, I'm going to look too. Sheesh. Yeah, boys. Two nice ones. Well, after a little bit of looking and, and uh, Harold digging in the Amazon rainforest, <laughs> we ended up finding the ones that me and Yappy shot. We both, Yappy shot that one on a log and then mine was also Full on a eggs. log. Full of eggs. And this is where one of them shot. And oh got, yeah. One of the yolks already coming out. Oh wow. But these are 50 to 70 eggs in both of these. There's two individual sacks. Wow. Dang. Well, hopefully you'll be able to see that today. The people that we were with, I actually invited you guys to come on over, whatever you catch, that they'll cook it up. So you Ooh. can try it their traditional way instead of my makeup way. Yeah. yeah. This is this the is cool. easiest catch clean cook we've ever done. We don't have to clean them, we don't have to cook them. This is awesome. I got out of cl cooking them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know. Five minutes later. All right, we are switching spots, going to iguana hunting spot number two. Uh, so far, Yappy and I only have one in hand each, and we're going to Miami now, and we're going to a spot that's pretty popular with people. Um, he said he's gotten talked to a bunch here by some Karens, so hopefully we get, you know, some iguanas and just some encounters that you guys are going to find interesting. So stay tuned. It's going to be in very, very interesting. All right, guys, we just pulled up to spot number two very urban again it's just like a city park but again this is legal okay however some people just don't know the rules and we're probably gonna get yelled at so this would be interesting maybe some cops will show up but we're gonna reload the gun here fill it up with some uh, air and then get back after it do you see one up there rick well it's not turning on oh i got him though all right here we go, boys. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm on safety, bro. Boom. Got uh, him. Got him. Now, the hard part, getting him in the water. You're a water dragon, dude. Yeah. I believe in you. Let me see it. All right, well, Yap Attack just got that one. We're going to wait for Harold to come over here and grab this one. But uh, here we go. First one down at the first spot or the second spot. We'll take him like that. Now, let's see if I can shoot one. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's moving. I can't see his head right now. Got him. <laughs> Bro. Bro, he's right here, but dang it, I almost no. Oh no, I just shot the biggest one of the trip potentially. <laughs> and he oh, he's just he's down there right now. Oh you can see him right there though. Yeah, I see him. You gotta go for him, bro. Where is that him right there? Yeah, he's right there. He just drops off right there. Yeah, I see his little arms. You gotta go in, bro. Dang, alright. I guess I'm gonna go in since I did shoot this. This is gonna be absolutely disgusting, but hopefully it's worth it. How nasty is this gonna it's be? It's really not bad. All right, watch I, out for alligators, bro. I will. I got you. All right, go left. He's literally right there. Like, if you were to go straight out, he's right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be able to fill him with your foot and then grab him. Dude, that's, this is scary as hell, bro. <laughs> I don't like this, yeah. <laughs> you got this. If you see a croc, let me know, brother. He should be right there, bro. Like, put your, you'll, you'll fill him with your feet. Oh. You got him? Oh, just go under and Shut reach up, around. Bro. Just go I under. Don't like this, bro. <laughs> You're <Look>. good. You're good. <laughs> you know how nasty this is, bro? It's super nasty. <laughs> bro. Rescue mission is not a go, huh? No, dude, that. The water's warm, but it's just so mucky right there. And, like, I saw him right away. He was belly up. 
and then I haven't seen him in a little bit. So I'm gonna let this kind of clear out and then go back in and hopefully get him. <laughs> All right, well, I shot an absolute kegger and uh, he's in the water right now. We're just letting the water settle because I can't, I can't physically see him in there at the moment. Oh, look at that iguana. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. So we are gonna let the water settle because I physically can't even see where it is anymore. Worst case, I got goggles um, on. Yeah, truck. worst case, I might have to get my goggles on or Yappy's goggles on and go actually uh, jigging with Jordan. Yappy to Antoine, the almighty Ian, if you know what I'm saying. But for right now, we're just gonna keep walking and try to find some absolute keggers that aren't gonna land in the water. I mean, which one though? There's keggers over which there. Which one, bro? They're all over the water. Like, dude, I. I can run and grab one. I feel like you gotta shoot one though, right? Yeah, I'll pop that one close. Okay. I'm ready. I'm worried he's gonna move. It's a great shot. Dude, there's so many more in this tree. Do you see him? Come on. Go. Oh, go! Come on, you got dude, it? this is so weird! No! <laughs> yes, dude! Hell yes, no. go, baby! Hell no, I ain't doing that again, bro! Oh, I ain't doing that again, bro! Bro, and there's so many in this tree. I'm absolutely drenched right now. We got it, baby! Oh my god, you're scared? That was scary. Dude, it's scary going <laughs> in these canals, bro. There's no telling what's in there, bro. There's no telling. But we got a good one. We finally got another one. Top 10 scariest thing I've ever done. Dude. Really? Dude, that was scary. I was no. scared. Well, because you're in there, you can't see what's going on, and you're grabbing a reptile. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thank you. Thank you for that. You owe me. <laughs> I owe you. Dude, the scope is so dark right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, hurry. He's right there. He's good. He's good. Dang, boy. Yeah. Just a little guy, bro. Yeah. Look at that. He'll cook up nicely, though. For sure. This gun is sick. It's super cool. I hope you guys are enjoying the shot cam footy or whatever it's called. We got people driving by, giving us weird looks. We got pedestrians just wondering what the hell is going on. But Yappy and I are here to kill some iguanas, man. That's what we're doing. All right, we just pulled up on him. You ready? Oh, yeah. Dude, he's so green. Oh, he's giving you another chance. Oh, wait. There you go. He's dead. Pretty freaking green one. That is epic. All right, keep moving. See him? On the main log? Oh, yeah, I see him. He's pretty big. Yeah. But he's going in the water. But it's Sometimes a dragon. you gotta risk it. It's a dragon. Uh, uh. Oh, dude, that is a good one. I got one. him. He's just like stuck okay, there. Okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. I can try to get in the water and. They're the boys, right? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah, pop. He went under. <laughs> no. I lost my crock. <laughs> oh no. Get your crock away. It's deep, bro. No, that's my those are my babies, bro. They yeah. just got like worn in, you know? I'm s so, I, I feel like I should buy you another pair of crocs, man. No. You're good.
Alrighty guys, just got, Yappy got this for me, went in the water. Nice orange looking one, such a cool iguana. Uh, this is my PB that I've recovered so far. It's uh, definitely a kegger. I mean, it's probably like, I don't know, maybe almost like three feet or so, but beautiful looking iguana. We're gonna go back and pick up some other ones. Hopefully that very first one that I shot we can find, because that one I think would put this one to shame, but had an awesome time out here. We're gonna walk back and Start cooking these bad boys. You guys stay tuned. Three hours later. All of you hoes, want you to remember who you talking to is. Hey guys. We're going into a house that no one can speak English. And we're gonna do a catch, clean, cook. And it's gonna be great. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we just made it over to the location of the catch and cook. Uh, we just showered and we met our homies that, yeah, they, yeah, you couldn't really see them in the video, maybe you would a little bit, but we hunted with Harold and then he had clients. And then basically the clients invited us over for, uh, for them to, to cook for us. So we're just rolling up to these pretty much random people's Airbnb. We're gonna go in there and just eat some iguanas, man, and have a great time, so. We're gonna find out where this is, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. What up, Bob? This is where it's happening right now. So we just rolled up, and all the homies are, are doing some cleaning. Gracias, by the way, for, for doing that. I don't, we might have pulled off the easiest catch, clean, cook of our lives. So we showed up. We showed up, we yeah. shot them. Yeah. They're cleaning them. They're cooking them, and we just get to sit back and relax and, and document it as best as possible and just eat. <laughs> I mean, this is, yeah, huge shout out to, to you guys and, and Harold and everybody for setting this up. But, so you saw the cleaning station out there. After they're clean, they come inside here, and then you put them in kind of like, I don't know, like a pot or a bowl, and you put water, salt, lemon, and orange in there, and you just let it soak. Let's soak for about 20 minutes, and then after that, uh, it, it goes over there and something happens, which, I mean, we'll see. I, we'll see what happens. So I will say, Senior, Senior Bass did this for my squirrel. We sat it, we boiled it in water, uh, onions, and garlic. So they might be boiling it down to get the, like, uh, to, uh, what is it called? The, the toughness in the meat to make it a little bit uh, softer. softer. Almost, yeah. yeah, like more tender, more tender. That's the word okay. I was looking for. So that's probably what's happening. They're boiling it. That's what I think, right? 100% basically, you're um, softening it up to where you're making it fall right off the bone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's most people traditional make it into a stew. Yeah. You know, okay. this is more like a um, Spanish stew instead of a curry. You know. So it's not a curry. It's it's just cooked in a similar way. I wasn't here when they did it, but yeah. that's what it looks like they're doing. So we're missing a, a big step. Yeah, curry right here. or stew? Pick one. Yeah. We'll say stew. Okay. But. We missed a huge step, John, and we don't know what it is, but maybe we'll be able to figure it out. Well, the iguana is done, and I just served some to myself. I got rice, and then the iguana on top. Look at that, dude. We got the peppers, we got the rice, we got the full course going down. You ready? That looks amazing. All right, John's first reaction. All right, All right. we got iguana. I'm going in for the first ever bite. Here we go. I'm just gonna go in for the meat, man. Here we I'm, I'm nervous, low key. Okay. That's not what I expected. What's it taste like? Chicken. Really? On God. You said tree chicken earlier. Uh, yeah. Chicken of the trees, what's it called? <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, if I was doing this, I would have messed this up because I wouldn't have done the boiling. Yeah. The boiling. Definitely game It's so much tender, comes off, the, like, the meat comes off the bone. It's actually it really, like a chicken wing, dude, honestly. it is literally a chicken wing. Like, or it meat. reminds me of frog almost, you know? Yeah. But, 
Good? I, I wouldn't be able to tell that get this some, is a guacamole. Get some like pepper and some. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get a little get bit of this. There, avocado. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Mm. Bro. Bro, I'm, I'm very surprised. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, yeah. very good. Yeah, I didn't think a guana was ever gonna taste like this. Oh my God, it's amazing. So yeah, if you guys come here to do this, it's awesome to know that you can use the entire animal and, and make yourself a great meal. Um, and while also, you know, helping out the ecosystem. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That was great. That's money, dude. Well, we just got done eating our stew, iguana <laughs> stew. And now the homies are surprising us with uh, basically fried iguana. And uh, it looks like a naked chicken wing. Um, we were talking about if you really wanted to, you could get some wing sauce and kind of put it on there and, and toss them and it, it'd be literally a, a buffalo wing. But we're going for like more of the authentic iguana taste. So we're going to do these sons of guns naked. All right, fellas. Going in for the fried iguana. This it is looks a, like a flat, dude. Yeah, it looks like a flat, like a front leg. I think I could eat it like a flat, like a... Probably. Oh, oh, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm supposed to do like this or whatever. <laughs> okay. Here we go, boys. Wow. Whoa. Clean. What'd you think? Damn. The, okay, okay. You see what I'm saying about the So, stew? okay. The outside? Yeah. Fire. Like the crispiness. Yep, the crispiness. Yeah. Love that aspect of it. The actual iguana. This is, I can tell it's iguana or something. Right. It's, I can tell it's like different. Yeah. Whereas the stew, where it was really tender, yeah. tasted like chicken. This is like 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 a, like a frog, if you guys ever ate frog legs. Yeah. Tastes like frog legs or um, like a, it's a chewier, like moist chicken. I don't know how to explain it, but it's still good. I think it depends what type of taste you're going after. If you want more of like a hint of a guana taste, do one of these. But that stew, man, I think stew is still my favorite thing. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you again for cooking. Gracias. Gracias. Oh, that looks. You're getting them nice and cold. Very good. Very good. Dude, we did it. Bubba, what did you think about like the whole experience, I guess, today? I was, to be honest, going into this, I was not expecting, I expected something totally different, right? Like I expected to be like on a boat or something like that, but we did it just walking around in the canal with some random guys that we just met today. And it turned out to be something way cooler than I expected. We got to come back to their Airbnb. They cooked up an amazing meal for us. We hung out, told stories about hunting, showed off pictures and just had like a hunting camp vibe in Florida, and uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. That was it was super special. This is a this is one of the cooler catch clean cooks that I've ever been a part of. So I'm glad we could do it, bro. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, I don't have much more to add to that because Yappy just like hit it spot on. But this whole video was awesome in my opinion. I've never done anything like this, and it, this definitely makes me want to come back and and do more of this. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a wild one. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite moment was. Was it when myself or Yappy jumped in the water to get iguanas? Was it when we you know, got some cool kill cams? Was it us eating the iguanas? Just let us know in the comment section down below. Again, huge shout out to Harold. Make sure to follow all his stuff. Link down below. And if you guys at home want to come to Florida and experience this exactly how you see it, you can come here and get a hold of him and you guys are going to have a great time. I promise you that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.